So hi dear Sagittarius, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a journal of reading for all the Sagi Sun Moon Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the rules can be reversed also. Third thing, this is a reading from 23rd till the 29th of October and it is a reading. Yes, it is valid for every 12th sign that you are dealing with along with your own sign. So let's start Sagis. Your person or your partner's current feelings for you right now at this present moment. Seven of Wands, someone is too closed off, very closed off kind of energy. You know, this person is hurt and they feel like uh, if they're going to be open to people or situations or anyone or anything, it's going to hurt them more. So they're like, nope, I'm not going to open up. Nope. Let's clarify the Seven of Wands. We have the six of wands, the sun card and the fool card. See, this is <laughs> this is someone who is going in two contradictory energies. One time they are showing me I am completely closed off. I don't care. I don't know about love and relationship and everything and uh, everything uh, uh, like that. And on the other hand, this their soul is kind of crying to come out and feel the happiness and feel the love and feel the unconditional kind of beautiful kind of blessed blessed kind of energy is going on in the universe this is someone who is emotionally closed off but their soul is crying to come out and they're feeling lost and confused they feel like coming out of this uh, stressful kind of energy of being too closed off they can't help it but it is happening it's like they feel like coming out of it but it is happening and they feel <laughs> Although you might feel like this person is emotionally closed off and uh, uh, you might be thinking like they have something like uh, stupid going on. They are a liar or cheater or something like that. But I don't think they are cheating on you or lying to you because they are closed off because they feel like uh, if they are going to like uh, open up, it's going to be a disaster. I don't know why they are feeling like this. Hmm. Let's see what do you feel about this particular person or situation from your side, Sajis. Queen of Wands, you are focused on yourself, you are focused on your looks, your job, your career, your overall personality. I think you are changing something in your looks, like it could be your like uh, physical appearance, it could be your hair, it could be anything related to that. <laughs> but you are changing your personality and your looks and you are focused on that only and you are uh, focused on manifesting good things for yourself. Let's clarify the Queen of Wands. We have the Seven of Wands, Queen of Cups and the Temperance. Both of you are closed off towards love and relationship as of now. Although you are telling me, okay Anjali, see I'm changing my personality, I'm changing my looks. You are hurt from inside. You are in this journey, in this journey of self-love, self-care, self-healing. And you are being very patient with yourself. But at the same time when it comes to love and relationship and vulnera vulnerability, vulnerability, <laughs> you are not open. You are not emotionally open to experiences, people and situations and connections. Both of you are emotionally closed off because of the reason that uh, you feel like both of you are going to get hurt again. But yours is like uh, you are uh, on this journey of self-healing, self-care, self-love. The other person is scared. They are simply scared. Cool. Let's see what this person wants from you. What are their intentions for the situation between you and them, Sajis? Seven of Pentacles. Their intention is to wait. This person more is is in this energy of wait and watch. Desperately. See, giving your energies, taking the energies from the universe, sending energy to the universe. Universe, please, uh, like, uh, give me the fruits of my hard work. Give me the fruits of my waiting. So this is like uh, they are waiting and uh, like uh, evaluating the situation, reevaluating the situation. Let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles. We have the five of swords, the death card and the page of pentacles. See, this is the time. This person wants to like put an end to the ego. 
the conscious mind the ego self okay and they want to come straight away towards you and start a friendship kind of energy like okay sagittarius can we can we be friends again even if you are never going to be my lover can we be friends again sagittarius i want to have i want to uh, be in your life i want to like uh, be around your energies they're waiting for the time when they can get the courage to come out of their shell and tell you i would just want to be i want to be your friend and apart from that i don't know i don't understand <laughs> anything more than that this is what they want let's see what do you want from this particular person or situation from your side sagis knight of wands see you are in this very high motivational kind of energy right now like i want to do something about my life i cannot uh, spend the rest of my life in sulking or crying or waiting for somebody to make me happy and this and that you want to do something ab ab about your life you just want to enjoy your life you just want to move your ass and do something okay very good let's clarify the knight of wands you're like yeah this is my life even if it's hurt. if even if it hurts maru my life marvels <laughs> Let's clarify the Knight of Wands. We have the Fool card, the Eight of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. See, you want to break the chains and you want to come out. Literally, literally, physically, you want to come out, uh, like of the jail, the mental jail that you have created for yourself. You just want to feel free. You just want to feel free. You just want to feel happy. You just want to break the chains, break the boundaries, break the uh, everything that's uh, like stopping you from getting to the point of feeling the freedom and the happiness and uh, the motivation that you are having in your life. about your life <laughs> so you just want to like uh, be like uh, the, on, on the horses and ride it like crazy got it we got it you want fun harmless fun good fun let's see what's coming towards you you just want to go on adventure with your life let's see what's coming towards you till the 29th of october sagittarius queen of swords clarity clarity and clarity <laughs> clarity and answers clear cut answers let's cl let's clarify the outcome we will i will tell you then we have the 8 of pentacles and the 3 of pentacles and the king of wands you will get the clarity about a connection about a situation between you and a specific energy that both of you are ready to put in the effort and energy in the situation to make this work out to have this collaboration partnership so one of you is going to be very practical one of you is going to be very enthusiastic and boom i think both of you are going to make this work out both of you are going to try to make this work out and i think if you guys are going to be in this clear cut a uh, clear cut energy of yes uh, we know how to make this work out you will be able to do that both of you so i do see this collaboration partnership team work coming in where both of you are like wanting to make this work out and both of you are putting the uh, uh, in the effort and energy in the right direction and boom it will start working out eventually i think good chances very good chances yeah so this is the same energy that's uh, on and off in and out and that's creating some kind of issues in your life i do see friendship kind of energy coming back you are going to be quite enthusiastic and uh, quite in motivation that okay even if it is not going to work out it's going to be a good experience the other person is going to be quite practical and uh, quite in their uh, head about things not so emotional about it but they are ready to give it a shot hmm let's see the guidance for you guys sagittarius in the situation we have the king of wands the temperance and the lovers hmm the guidance here is enthusiasm is fine motivation is fine but do not lose your patience and do not lose your uh, like shit it's like okay even if you are attracted or tempted to do something or uh, like to do something with someone it's it's like okay it's completely fine but again do not lose your shit while doing all this you have to be in like in a balanced kind of approach even if something risky is coming even if something is giving you that much motivation that much energy of, yes i want to do it yes i want to do it uh, again don't put yourself into some any kind of risk whether it's your health risk whether it's like a, a emotional risk or whether it's mental risk whatever it is do not put yourself into risk of, of any kind because you're tempted or attracted to do something here about someone or something right so don't lose your shit 
we often do that when we are very motivated very much high in energy we often make mistakes and then we regret it so don't do it so thank you so much for tuning in sajis i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste